What's up guys, welcome to another gardening video. Today we're gonna be talking about all things to do with the chores. Huh? To do with the tasks. Okay, we're gonna be doing that in November. What should you be doing in November? I'm back, I'm did it, did it, dead, dead, dead. So already I'm sure at the back you can see. Yeah. Already this one contains my first task that you need to be doing. And that is check up on your garden. Simple, easy. But basically I haven't been in the garden for about two weeks now. So I need to check on what's happening in the garden and you can already Yeah, this just yeah. So you can see the trellis fell down. Um so yeah, this is something that I needed to do. If I didn't check on the garden, I wouldn't have seen this. But yeah, I think it's gonna hinder some of the vegetables growing in on there. But yeah, simple task. Just check in, go in your garden, check what's going on infrastructure wise just check on the garden as good as new now we're back we're back baby so checking up on your plants also means checking up on if your plants or crops have any insects any mildew just making sure that you are looking after the the crops before the insects and all of these things um infiltrate them so yeah just be basically one step ahead of the pest. The next tip would be to interplant your crops. You can see I have some marigold here right next to the corn. Within the corn, we have some nasturtium. Within the nasturtium, we have some baby marrow. You know, we have some baby marrow growing in there. So I would say interplant your crops. Even here, we have some peppers as well. You know, intercrop basically uh, mix your crops with other vegetables or crops that have beneficial elements to uh, the crops that are in your garden. So you see like marigold will attract pollinators for the baby marrow. And then also the baby marrow has now like a, 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 an integrated support that it can grow all the marrow on. It can cling to these uh, corn and also then the nasturtium gets rid of the unbeneficial insects and then gets and attracts the beneficial ones So yeah, just make sure that you are having plants that are good companions to each other So directly linked with checking up on your garden You need to check up on your actual plants So you see these peas These peas I've left the pea on for too long the pea has developed too big and this is what happens when um you when you do that when you leave it on for too long the pea actually just dies it says okay you you have produced enough i'm going to die and this is what's happening as well here you know it's not producing big ones can you see even here so you're checking up on your plants also you know entails harvesting um so that the actual plant itself knows that it needs to grow more right and you see with the beans with the peas these ones harvest as often as possible so that the actual plant itself can grow more even cucumber cucumber is the same as well so you know that brings me right to the next one which is harvest harvest make sure that you are harvesting your plants so you see oh, as the, the 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 beans and the peas these ones, the spinach as well, they really like to be harvested often. So make sure that you're just harvesting it. Make sure. I also wanted to show you, look at the lettuce. Yes, I know there's some weeds. Guys, that's another task. <laughs> it's another task. Just do what you gotta do. But anyway, look at the lettuce. Uh, if you watched my previous, previous video, I showed how to transplant some lettuce or I was transplanting some lettuce. And look at them. They are doing so perfectly beautiful. You gotta love it. And yeah, it rained recently. Um, so yeah, there's been some lettuce, you know, lettuce growth, uh, you know, and they love the, the rain. So yeah, you can even see they're even growing in rows and look how beautiful, just look how beautiful <laughs> this lettuce is. Like, this is the first time I've grown this type of lettuce. So this one you harvest the letter the lettuce head. So you chop off here. Or you could literally um like cut off the sides and hopefully it will keep growing. You know, I think what I'll try and do is 
uh, actually just chop off and then we have some lettuce basically i've been away for about two weeks um i was you know jet setting flats like a, okay okay <laughs> but but honestly i was in uh germany for the past uh two weeks um you know just you know touching the ground touching the soil and you know i thought that you know i would skip a video because i didn't really have any time so but yeah i'm back now i'm back in south africa literally just landed about two minutes ago yeah so i thought you know I'd let me make a video so yeah i hope it was helpful i hope it did what it got it does and it keeps you motivated to keep gardening